When you think about uh, entrapment and compression, David Butler uh, describes the nerve as a vampire, thirsty for blood all the time. So most of uh, the entrapment neuropathies are due to ischemia. So we try to give that neurostructures the chance to drink that necessary blood. So many times what we use is positioning. So positioning uh, the limbs or the patient in a position that allows for uh, a better vascular function, because this is the most important thing. So you cannot think that uh, a neuro tissue can uh, have its normal properties of sliding, tensioning, uh, promoting uh, axonal transport, if its uh, vascular status is not normal, if there is ischemia. If there is ischemia, the neurostructures do not respond well to movement. So uh, depending of, of the findings in a neurodynamic assessment, depending on uh, how I classify this patient, if I think the problem is more of a pathophysiological or more biomechanical, many times we just try to, to position the patient, aiming that that neurostructure will uh, restore its uh, normal vascular status. So like you have like a systematic way of like assessing um, to then be able to classify and know like what technique to use or what approach to use. Exactly, uh, exactly. This, this was uh, for me the, uh, the great asset of, uh, of attending uh, Michael's course and uh, knowing about uh, his uh, algorithm exactly to to grade uh, the patient's status according to is this patient ready for movement or is this patient in need of uh, restoring its normal physiology before I start moving.